hello guys welcome to another class for today on today's class we'll be looking at different tests to perform on a generator that refuses to produce voltage first of all this generator is a test piece and this generator produces voltage this generator is working very fine but let's assume you have a generator that doesn't work as well as this what are the various tests you should carry out to be sure your generator is faulty or to be sure what part of your generator is faulty and number one test i usually do is this i usually do the visual test or the physical test as some people want to call it the visual test is basically looking at your generator especially the electronics or the electrical part of the generator to visually see if they are faulty for example let's assume your generator isn't working fine it's not producing voltage because of course when you on your generator when you put on your generator the voltmeter should work and the power on um, light here should be on as well for example these are not on and of course the generator cannot produce voltage or power your household appliances or what have you you perform the visual test by looking at the socket looking at this socket to identify if there is bond is one visual test you must perform in this generator okay you look at the socket as an amateur you should be able to do that even as a novice you should be able to do it. if you look at the socket possibly notice that the contact inside of the socket will turn brown okay your down is number one visual test you should always check out for another is this you look at the rear end of your generator where the alternator is located you look basically at the windings to see if there is bond if there is no bond in your windings it is possible your generator is okay but if there is bond it is also possible that your generator is damaged another visual test you should also perform is looking at the um, avr automatic voltage regulator sometimes when your automatic voltage regulator is bad you observe it is swollen and different from the regular side with that you are able to tell that your generator avr is faulty number two test i also perform this time not visually but this time with a multimeter what i do basically is to use the multimeter and test for continuity all i need to do is to move this from the off position down to this um position where you can basically test for continuity i insert a probe at one end and insert another probe at another end having inserted this probe now you will notice there is no sign on your meter it doesn't read continuity but one thing you should also notice is that the circuit breaker is on the off position so we move it to the on position and this time around we test for continuity if you check now you will notice it reads and it shows there is continuity so what we succeeded in doing right now is we succeeded in testing the so socket for quality the socket right now is of good condition another thing we should do now is to test the alternator end very important in fact most of the faults you observe on a generator that refuses to produce voltage usually comes from the alternator so let's dive right into the test now we are in the alternator or rather we are at the alternator whichever language i think is correct <laughs> okay uh, we should also know that the alternator has two main components which are the rotor and the starter the starter is the stationary part of the alternator while the rotor also called the armature is the rotating part of the alternator so one thing we do always is test the starter for continuity these two wires are the wires that send uh, power to the sockets we tested earlier okay the other two wires underneath them are the wires that comes directly from the starter so what we do is basically to test the is basically to test the wires for continuity so if they are continuous that shows the starter is okay the field line is okay but if they are not continuous that shows perhaps there is an issue with the field on this let's go okay you will notice there's a reading you notice there's a reading that shows it's very much continuous another thing you should always do is this while testing for continuity in the starter also test for bridge 
or eight. There's a particular term for it. I'm trying to recall now, but this is it. When you put your probe here in one of the wires you've tested earlier, take it to the frame of the generator. Take it to the frame of the coil of the starter. You notice it reads continuous here. But if you put it at the frame of this starter and it also reads continuous, I'm sorry, your wires, the windings of your starter may have breached and that would cause this to equally it and that shows your starter is faulty but for this particular generator the starter is very much okay it will continuity here but it doesn't need continuity with the frame of the starter that said another test we should also perform is continuity tests on the rotor what i just did now was to remove the two wires positive and negative that comes from the avr okay what we do next is to test to see if the commutator of this is well in line if the commutator of this rotor is well in line what that means is we just test for continuity as well if you notice very well now you notice the test is so perfect now it shows continuity okay and what we just did for let me reiterate what we just did now is this we tested the brush okay we tested the brush the brush is mounted on the commutator and if we test the brush and it's okay that shows the commutator is equally okay but in some cases you may test the brush and you will discover it doesn't work well it doesn't show continuity what you do in such cases is to lose out this brush again and actually touch the commutator the commutator directly to see if the commutator is continuous and also to know if it's a brush that has issues here but for this one we tested everything together we just tested it and it gives us outright results showing fully well that the brush itself is working fine and equally the alternator the rotor of the alternator or the armature of the alternator is working very fine one more thing to do is this remember when i tested earlier when i tested earlier now the meter is showing continuity right now this is what the meter is showing the meter is showing continuity but this is what i want to do next i want to take this to the frame of the generator to see if it's going to edit, if it's going to show a reading with the frame of the generator but it doesn't that equally shows the alternator is very 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 much okay but this i would want to do again this is another test this this is the exciter winding of this particular alternator so what we also do is to test the exciter winding to see if it's okay if the exciter winding somehow becomes bad what that shows you is this that your starter is faulty the exciter winding is connected to the avr so i just disconnected it okay this is how it's connected now let's test what you do basically is to observe this observe this very well and you will notice there are two wires with the same colors okay and if you look at the bottom end again there are two wires almost with the same color as well but for some engines they come with two same color at this end and two same color at this end but one thing you must always note is that one particular one is constant which is this so what you do now is to test the two colors related wires the two wires that the colors are the same and see if it's continuous okay it's continuous right that shows so far that this wire heading into the winding is very very good but that is not all we should also test the other ones so what you do still leave one probe at one of those wires and test this other end if it shows continuity it shows that your uh, field windings or your starter is bad but for this it doesn't show continuity okay that shows um the field winding is okay okay now we take it to the other end another color this time not on the yellow colors but the other ones and we check for continuity as well when you look at this now it shows it's continuous but you take it to the other end it doesn't show continuity so what we have successfully done 
is we have successfully checked the rotor and the starter of your field wire dish to determine if it has issues or not. If any of them has issues and your generator refuses to produce voltage, the best thing to do is to change them outrightly or probably give it to a technician to help you fix. We've successfully done all this and we noticed there was no issues with this our starter and the rotor. One of those issues that could make the generator not to have voltage now, this fireman is the arrow we have here. Okay, so for you, if you have tested everything and you discovered this, the best thing to do is to change your AV arrow. To test for the AV arrow, to see if it's working fine, you put the positive probe on the negative end of the AV arrow. Okay, positive or negative end. And put the negative on the positive. Please note, negative on positive. And then we observe there is a reading okay you observe there is a reading when you do this and you observe there is no reading just know your avr is gone just be rest assured your avr is gone and it's better to change it at that particular point so that is it from us from this particular class these are the basic tests you can perform even as a non-technician on your generator till meeting our next class guys it's goodbye from us. Take care.